Hey, it's Ryan from Upfit Supply, and in this video, we're gonna be unboxing the Legend Duratherm wall liners for the Ram Promaster City. Let's get into it. All right, this is the uh, Legend Duratherm liners for the Ram Promaster City. These are just the wall liners. These are not, uh, they don't cover the doors and they don't cover the ceiling. So just uh, remember that when I show you the panels that are included here. Um, you'll notice right off the bat just how big this box is. And, um, and it's a big box because you're essentially shipping a piece of plastic lining that covers the side of a vehicle. So it's just, they're huge liners and so they have to ship in these big boxes. Um, so they have to ship on a pallet, LTL freight, so it usually costs a little bit more um, to ship these. So if you are considering buying um, you know, some liners, and you're like, oh, maybe I'll try out the, the wall liners first and then the ceiling liners later. You're just gonna end up paying double the shipping, so just take that into account. Just making sure I got everything out of here. All right, these are called the Duratherm liners, and the therm part of that name has to do with this insulation on the back of the liner. So we have the front part of the liner, which is just this plastic cover. This is the part that you see in the van, and then on the back, you have this layer of foil insulation, and then you have a layer of black insulation behind that. And um, what that does is it helps control uh, sound and temperature in the back of the van. As you know, driving a van around, there's just, uh, if it's empty in the back, it's just all sheet metal, and so it can be loud, and the temperature can be all over the place, especially when you're trying to like cool down the van, and, and the back's just not helping you out at all, because it's not insulated. Um, so that's what that insulation is really for. Plastic part is to help prevent damage to the van. Um, one thing I wanna point out before I flip this over here, you can see there's a little cutout here. I don't know how well you can see that, you know, on the overhead camera or, or the one in front of me, but uh, this is a cutout, I believe, for a light. Um, so if you don't have a light there, it stays in place. If you do have one, you can pop that out. Um, so these are usually pre-scored if there's any type of potential modification that you might need to make, like if there's foam or a piece of trim or something. Um, you usually see on the ceiling liners and not as much on, on the wall liners. Um, it looks like it's just these light cutouts um, here. So we have our two side wall panels. So this is essentially, you know, you can kind of see the van behind me, but it's going to be behind the door and backwards, that part of the wall. The door liner is separate and the ceiling is separate. So just take that into account when you're looking at this product. Um, here we have a gray finish or a gray color liner. Uh, when you get the gray, it has this textured finish to it. You know, I think it helps hide scuffs and scratches and stuff a little bit better. It's a little bit more durable. Um, if you get it in white, it does not have this textured finish on it. Gray is by far the most popular, so just take that into consideration. Um, you can see this is precision cut to essentially match the contours in the van. And then you have these pre-drilled holes essentially safe locations where you can put one of these included self-threading screws through and into the sheet metal in the van. Um, so they give you all the, the screws to do that and give you little screw caps. A lot of times you just use a electric screwdriver or you know a, a little light impact to get those uh, screws into the sheet metal and you're good to go. Put the caps over it and it makes it look uh, a nice finish in the back of the van. So we've got our you know, I don't know if this is the driver's side or passenger side here, and we have our passenger or driver's side here. I imagine these things are little cutouts for the wheel wells. And so this would be the top, this would be the back. I'm um, assuming this might be the rear, and this kind of accommodates the front, but I could be wrong. Um, so we have our two liners here. I think this is actually the passenger side because I believe that's where the light is. So this liner is about, in total about a half an inch thick. I think it's like three eighths of an inch is the technical um, measurement here. We've got this layer of plastic and this is gonna prevent damage. It's a super strong material. So if you're learning in lumber, tools, equipment, inventory, whatever it is, and you accidentally nick the side of the van, it's a lot better to nick this than to nick the sheet metal, which is going to dent and fleck paint and invite rust and corrosion and all that stuff into your van. Um, so this just helps protect the investment as well as um, give you that additional barrier for sound and temperature control. Like I mentioned, you do buy the wall liners and the door liners and ceiling liners separately. So just take that into consideration. 
Um, sometimes you don't need the door liners. For example, uh, we have the glass delete on the side doors in ours. So we're gonna put uh, door panels on the top part of those doors. But if you have glass on all four doors, uh, the two barn doors in the back and the two sliding doors, you actually do not need the door liners for the Ram Pro Master City. So just take that into consideration. Um, now, if you're looking for these wall liners or any other equipment to upfit your van so that it's work ready, be sure to check us out at upfitsupply.com. Again, my name is Ryan and have a good one.